In this parametric architecture video, we're going to model the Lotus Temple in Grasshopper. And as you can see here, I have modeled this. Uh, and I'm going to explain this. It's, it's, uh, it looks a little bit weird and complicated, but it's really easy. Just uh, a couple of uh, parameters you have to change. You can see that we can change these uh, circles, which I'm going to explain how we can define this form. You can see I can change the number here. And as you can see, we can just uh, change the number of the uh, structures we have here, the form. Uh, we can just play with this height. Uh, we can play with this number. And basically model the Lotus Temple. So in this parametric architecture video, I'm going to make this from scratch. If you're new to Grasshopper, consider subscribing to our channel. I'm going to put another video up here if you're new and you want to know what Grasshopper is. And we also have a course which you can learn Grasshopper from uh, the basics to advanced step by step, which I will also put up here and you can see the lessons. Okay, let's get started from scratch. If we want to model this in Grasshopper, what we want to do, and let's just take a look at this section. We want to model this one, okay? Uh, just assume that these points which we have on the top of the section is on a circle, right? So we have a circle up here. Then assume that we have a circle on the ground which have these points here and then we have another point here so we can assume that this a model can be made with these set of points right this one for one circle this is the second circle and this is the last circle this can also be applied to the section inside and uh, at the end we're going to model the outside so let's just get started by going to the curve section and using a circle and i'm going to put the bifocals plug in here you can also download the example file from our website and I'm going to give a point which is 000 to the center and let's just give this a radius so this is basically for the outside uh, we can just make a copy for this bring this a little bit up and scale it have the second circle and the last one which is going to go a little bit higher and smaller, okay? So if you look at the Lotus Temple, what you can see that is it has nine sections, okay? So we have nine of these sections here. What we want to do is to definitely divide the top circle into nine points. So I'm going to divide, okay? Got a plug in here, so let's just use the divide curve and put it to nine and we have these counts here okay so we have nine points at the top we need nine points at the bottom so this is also nine let's just give this to the top the bottom and for the second set as you can see here we have two points for each of these sections right so we have 18. Uh, i'm going to multiply this nine because we can just change the 9 maybe later. I'm going to give it 2 multiplied by that and divide the circle which we want to use for this point uh, to 2 times this number, okay? So we have 2 times of that, okay? This is really easy. What we want to do is to make this arc. So I'm going to go to the curve. I really always use this arc because it's really easy to produce an arc with an arc SED, start, direction, end, right? Start, end, direction. Okay, the start is going to be this point, so we're going to use this. The end is obviously this point, and the direction at the start can be a Z direction. So let's just give this and make the first one. That's it. The next one is to make this curve right up here and then we can make a mirror to make this one again from this plane so uh, what i can do here is to make this point uh, as you can see here we give this as a little bit height there uh, we need a curve like this exactly like this one okay so what we want to do is to again uh, give a start a end and a direction so let's just do this again 
at the start, the end at the top, direction at the C. Okay, you can see that we have uh, more points here. So what we want to do, because we have 18 points uh, for here, I'm going to use a dispatch. And what dispatch does is, if you don't know what dispatch is, I'm going to put another tutorial up here. It's a true false for the default, and it's going to say true false, right? True false, true false. And now we can have them into the group of true false. So if I just turn this off, turn this point off, what we have to do is to use one of the lists as the second point. So we connected this to the start. So I'm going to give this to the start. Okay, we have to go with the list B and we're good to go. That's it. So remember, we just dispatched those points. So uh, we picked them and now we can see it right here. The last curve is going to be like this, as you can see here. Uh, how can we make this? This is really easy. I'm going to make a line to here and then move the point at the center of this a little bit in the z direction and make this a curve or an arc. So let's just do this. I'm going to make a line. The start is going to be this point. The end is going to be on the ground. Let's just find that. I'm going to find the center. I'm going to use the perpendicular frame. Reparameterize this. We have talked about this. If you don't know, you have to watch the perpendicular frames tutorial. I'm going to put it up here again if you don't know what perpendicular frame is. And I'm going to give a 0 0.5, which means at the center of this, right? Uh, the reason I'm using this is because maybe uh, in the future we want to move this point in the Z direction and in the Y direction, okay? So we need this Y direction. I'm going to uh, go to vector and deconstruct this plane into the origin, which is the center, X, Y, and Z. Okay, let's just move this point in the Z direction. And I'm going to give this a number. You can see that I'm moving it upwards, right? So maybe just 8 is fine. And we can move this up and down. And we're good to go. Let's just turn the line off. Go to the curve. I'm going to go to the primitive, and this time I'm going to use the arc with three points, start, end, and on the arc. So let's just do this. Point A is the start. Uh, we had these points. Point B on the arc, we had this point. And the point C, the end of the arc, was this point. Okay, here we go. That's it. So you can see how easy it is to make those arcs and I made them here. Okay, after making those arcs, we can turn everything off. We can play with these things. You can see that if I just change the Z direction, it's going to affect the form. Let's just go to the perspective so you can see this. This one is going to affect, let's just turn on the points. This was the height. And this is the way you can make it. Okay, so when we have these three arcs, we want to go to the surface, freeform, and use this edge surface to make it. I'm going to use the edge surface, but if I connect these arcs to the curve A, curve B, and curve C, the problem here is, let's just bake that. You can see that it's going to produce something like that, okay? Uh, what we can do here is to, what and I prefer, is to rebuild arcs. Because arcs, if you click on them uh, and explode them, you can see that the curve is going to be into two sections sometimes. So if you want to have a better result, I rebuild them with degree 3 NURBS curve. So you can do that or you can just avoid this part. But I prefer to do this because it gives better results, okay? Uh, same as that before, but you can see how uh, smooth are the UV points, okay, UV curves. So if we want to make those UV curves come from the top, right, what we want to do is to change these UVs. Okay, I'm going to give this up, give this down. Let's just bake this. 
Okay, we have to again put this one. That's it. So we made the UV surfaces. And what we have to do is to use the mirror to mirror the surface. And we need this plane of this arc we made to mirror the surface. So this is really easy. What we have to do is to go here, connect from the param views for the param section, a plane to this. And it's going to find the uh, plane of these arcs give this as the plane of mirror. That's it. And we can turn everything off. We can turn the plane off. And here we have it. So this is the way we can play with all of these circles, the heights. You can see that we can play with this radius. Produce different results. Right? and make the surface. Okay, now we made this uh, first step, which is this one. Now what we want to do is to just copy this and make the inside part, right? For the inside part, what I prefer to do is to put this on the ground, so I'm going to set this to zero. I'm going to decrease the radius for all of them. Here we go. We have to bring this on the ground, so the Z is going to be zero. We have to move this in a more, give this more height, and check this out. That's it. You can really easily change the radius, play with it if you want. It's really beautiful and it's really easy because we made it parametric and we can also change the radius at the top right we can even bring that outwards so I'm going to make this inside that's it so this was for the second part and here we go so we have these surfaces let's just bake these uh, I'm going to bake these surfaces so you can see it shaded mode here we go and then we have this kind of surface so this is the way you can make the inner part and the outer part then we have the last section which is this one it's going to take a while because we have to make a line here and i'm going to explain that but you can see how easy it is to produce that in grasshopper play with it and the best part is that we can simply change the number of the uh, 9 here so if we want to change this to maybe 6 we have to also change this to 6 and here we go we can see that we can produce so you can also use this 6 from the top menu which we used here right because I just copied this it has a separate six here, so you can connect that. Let's just do that. So it's a better definition, and I'm going to make this the count. Connect this to the count multiplied by two. Connect this one to the count. That's it. We don't need this six. Let's just delete this one. And now you can see that I can also change the number of the section even give it a 10 if we want okay so this is the first section of the tutorial okay for the last part what i want to do is to go to this section and let's just see what we can do um we need those points on the ground to connect them as a line so i'm going to just take a look and see which of those points are on the ground this one no this one Yes, here we go. Let's just connect these nine points together. I'm going to go to the curve and use a polyline to connect them together. Okay. What we want to do is to close the polyline to make it happen. That's it. Now we have to explode it again 
to have those uh, those nine segments. That's it. We have the first part. Now what I want to do is to move this point in the Z direction and in the normal direction, exactly like the perpendicular frame I've explained if you want to control that. So what we want to do is to go to perpendicular frame. Remember, reparameterize 0 0.5 because we want the center of that. And we can move that in the Y direction and the X direction. Basically, the X is the Z, but we can use that. Okay, so vector, the construct plane, move the origin. I'm going to give two multiplication for the X and the Y. And I'm going to add them up. So let's just add this. Okay, double click just opened, helped. Okay, and here we go. Now we can turn this off. You can see that we can move it in the Z direction and in the normal direction. Turn everything off. Uh, we're good to go. Okay. The next part is to connect this point to this point with an arc. Again, if we want, uh, we could give this the x direction. Let me just turn this on so you can see it. We can give this an arc like this with the y direction at the start. So let's just do that. Again, let's just use this arc sed start. Uh, I'm going to use, find those points, guess it was somewhere here with the dispatch, right? This is the start. This is the end. The direction was the y-axis. Okay. Turn this off. Bring this a little bit. Okay, I didn't give the point right because we moved that. That was the end. Okay, that was the start. Okay, the Y axis is basically outwards, so I'm going to give it inwards. Now we have to go to the direction, minus X. That's it. Not really that complicated. You have to just work out with those parameters and here we go so now we can just simply move this in the height and outwards to produce this curve right the second part is to produce this one that's not really hard uh, we have to go from this point to this point with a z direction again uh, and you can also if you want draw a line, move this in the Z direction and produce an arc. So you can also do that. Doesn't really matter, we can go with a line. I'm going to go with a line. This was the point, uh, nope. Let's just go here, we had this point. We had this point. So I'm going to connect these points to the top, right? I'm going to pick up the center point on curve and move that in the Z direction. We can work on this. And now what we want to do is to make that arc with three points. So there it goes. The first set of points, point A, point on the arc, the moved point. And the end is, which is this one. Okay, we have to control that. We're good to go. Now we can make a surface from this curve, this curve, and this curve. So we go to the surface, preform. You can again rebuild these arcs if you want better results. Let's just do that. Rebuild them. The default is degree three, so we don't have to change anything. It just converts that arc to a nerves. So now we have those edge surfaces, this one, the second one, and the last one we have to go pick that up. Guess that we had the 
Uh, let's just turn this on. Yep, that's it. Oops, C. Turn this off. And now we can simply just uh, mirror this surface exactly with those planes we had here. I'm going to connect this one because it's symmetrical and we're good to go. So you can see how easy it is to produce those surfaces. We have to play with those planes and here we have the results. We can simply just bake these bake these two surfaces and bake these two surfaces here. And here we go. We have the Lotus uh, Temple in Grasshopper. We can control that. We have those uh, edges, those curves, and it's really beautiful just with a simple arcs. Uh, controlling with the points, not really complicated, but you have to know what you're doing. And remember, we can control the Z direction of this whatever we want. We can optimize that even if we want to. We have a tutorial about optimization, structural optimization in the course, so remember to watch that also. And thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, comment below so you can support our channel, and see you next time.